Cal OSHA is now continuing the trend of systematic dismantling of our COVID protections. For the California Occupational Safety and Health Administration just relaxed its isolation and testing requirements for employers, where the definition of the infectious period has now changed. For symptomatic COVID cases, the infectious period has changed to starting at the onset of symptoms, where COVID-19 cases with symptoms may return to work if 24 hours have passed with no fever and symptoms are mild or improving. So first, you are infectious prior to symptoms, so you would be infectious during this period, and you would still be infectious if your symptoms are mild or improving. The next change in the infectious period is that for asymptomatic cases or non-symptomatic COVID cases, uh, there is no infectious period for the purpose of exclusion or isolation, which means you can keep coming to work despite being COVID positive and then infect your colleagues. Next, there's reduced isolation times for COVID cases, primarily for those asymptomatic COVID cases where COVID cases without symptoms no longer need to isolate for five days. Instead, they can go to work. They just simply have to wear a mask for those 10 days. Uh, like before it was five and five, five days isolate, five days mask. Now they're saying, just come on in. Just make sure you try to wear a mask. So that's going to go great. And next, the new testing rules for close contacts has also changed where the California Department of Public Health no longer recommends testing for all close contacts and instead recommends testing only when a close contact, one, has new COVID symptoms, two, is at higher risk of severe disease, or three, has contact with people who are at higher risk of severe disease. So while uh, people still have to be informed by their employers of close contacts, at least for now, and this is close contacts with COVID-infected individuals, those individuals aren't required to test unless they're quote-unquote higher risk of severe disease. And while testing is still required during outbreaks, which recall they extended the definition of what an outbreak is, they relaxed it essentially, which is now um, at least three COVID cases within an exposed group within a seven-day period. And for employees who have symptoms but refuse to test, um, they must be excluded for at least 24 hours from when their symptoms start and must be excluded from work until their symptoms are mild and improving and they have been fever free for at least 24 hours without the use of fever reducing medications. But again, this language is showing improvement. It is not COVID negative. So you are saying it's a-okay if people are contagious and coming into the workplace, which is just absolutely wild to me.